Comment allez-vous en français? Ha ha ha. Oui. 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 Ha ha. Oui. 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 Reminds me of that progressive show with the pig. Oui. 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 Hi everybody. Uh, we're your brothers at arms, and yeah, why not? We're just gonna have wee fun with it. Wee. Hey, uh, by the way, uncles, uh, your yes. niece Julia says hi. Hi, greetings, <laughs> cousin or niece of mine. Ne niece, niece, yeah, there you niece. Go. niece. niece. <laughs> Way to make him feel Nothing. old, Greg. Wait, oh, no, what am I again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those. Oh, bless it, bless it. Oh. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, we Blast. are your brothers in arms. This is episode number 62. 62 Lord. on the webs. Can you believe it? 62, right? No. Uh, last week was a blast. We had a good time. Today is Saturday, Saturday the 13th. Uh, it is 9.15 p.m. on the Eastern Seaboard. We're a day early and uh, a bunch of dollars short, but that's okay. Because uh, that's what we do, and life happens, and this is what we've got to do to make sure everything that that we still have this time together, that we still have. You okay there, buddy? <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Ooh, somebody needs sorry a cough button. <laughs> oh yeah, that one was bad. I'm sorry. That's why I pushed it duck. <laughs> I should have muted that one. <laughs> it came um, out of came out of nowhere. That's all right, man. We still love you. So here we are. We're we're rocking out this uh, this weekly podcast together. It is Saturday. It's one day early, but it's really no big deal because we hope to be able to get it to you uh, either late this evening or well, it's probably going to be tomorrow because guys, tonight uh, is daylight savings. Oof. Um, right. Uh, for some reason, I always remember that we fall back and we spring forward. Yep. And we just happen to get to spring forward this time, which means you hear my washer going, isn't it great? And it's got a really nice ringtone. Singing us a nice little song over here. But, oh, uh, but because we're springing forward, we lose an hour of sleep. And uh, yeah, this, this old boy's got uh, some responsibilities tomorrow. So I got duty. Hi. And you've got duty. So, and Greg, what do you get to do? Uh, I'm going to Richmond. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, terrible. Okay. Well, terrible. That, that happens. There is a... Uh... Bye, Caroline. <laughs> Good night. She keeps pushing the, the table over. So. There is a... Um, there's a top golf over there. Yeah, there's one just north of us. No, I'm not doing the top golf. I am going to top golf. Got a plan for it here in a couple months. But... um. But no, uh, actually, I've got dance lessons. Ooh, cha cha cha. Yep, little cha cha cha. And uh, if you're familiar with Richmond, there are a boatload of cool places and things to visit down there, aka breweries. Um, that <laughs> I am going to go and and check out at least one or two of them tomorrow. Very nice. They're awesome. Very nice. There's so. also Raven Chase Adventures down there too. I know. What if, is uh, that, um, Alex? So, you know, Liz and I like doing escape rooms, right? That's one of the things that you know we did one time. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, we we took you all for uh, Christmas one year. We did one. Ab absolutely. Yeah. Um, so the reason why we like doing those so much is a place that's in Richmond called Raven Chase. Um, quite literally, a friend of mine on the boat one time said, hey, me and my wife are going, you know, you guys should come with us. So we did. It was the nice. first time we'd ever done it. And holy cow, that place is amazing. Every single one we've done since then, and mind you, Liz and I hold the record for pretty much every escape room in the charleston area holy cow yeah like it these guys make you think and you don't never have to have any side of outside information you don't have to have like a, a bachelor's degree in chemistry or something to figure out some of the puzzles like all of the answers are in the room but just the way that they put stuff together makes anyone else look like they have no idea what they're doing yikes it is fantastic <laughs> 
So these guys, they, they set the standard for, for me, and they set it for Liz, and pretty much anyone who goes after that, they, they make you think. What's this place called? Raven Chase Adventures. Raven Chase Adventures, okay. Yeah, it's in Richmond. It's like two doors down from a bar, and the cool thing about it is they actually have a deal with the bar that's there so that if you actually beat a room um the first round that you go and buy like for yourself so one drink is on them what on yeah. raven chase or on the the bar itself on raven chase they give you a little oh, come on and you just, you walk over and it's right there that's neat so we did like three rooms in a day and <laughs> oh, no <joking. laughs> they give you an hour and you get three clues and that's it and uh, if you make it through with, I think without using any of your three clues, they give you two. You get two coupons. Uh, hopefully to, to dumb you down for the next one that you come and do. Right. Um, but, yeah, like we did, we did, we went three for three. And it, it's amazing. It's Very absolutely nice. amazing. And, like, their prices are, are great. You know, it's a, a good, it's a good date. So. Awesome. Great people too. Awesome. Well, we we've only been to that one that you all took us to. Uh, but one of the things that we did get to experience while on officers' councils one time was uh, axe throwing. Have you guys done axe throwing yet? Yes. Greg? Uh, no, can't say oh! I have yet. <laughs> I have wow. To. So this place was pretty uh, pretty sweet. It's called Battle Axes. Uh, my only concern though is this: they mix throwing axes with alcohol yep uh, yeah. <laughs> so and that's why it's fun obviously as uh, as salvation army officers we all did not partake uh but still we were having the loudest time ever in that joint they probably thought we were uh but yeah it, it it's a lot of fun man you really got to try it out that that was in lexington and there was also this uh uh brewery slash uh uh creamery a brewery slash creamery and so they made their own alcohol but then they also made their own ice cream and i'm telling you guys their ice cream was just like top shelf now yeah you had a cup about oh about that big and it was six bucks but <laughs> yeah it, it was a not not cheap. Not cheap ice cream, but it was it was top shelf, man. Worth it. And pa pardon the pun, but it was good. That sounds awesome. Alex, I'm I'm sitting here looking at this. Uh so they have the escape room in Virginia in, in Richmond. Yep. Um there's also ones in there's one in Arlington. That is awesome. They also have uh, escape rooms designed for kids too. It's under their. Uh, it, it's like a a child company, or it, well, they're the parent company for it. But it's like um, it's like something gnome adventures. Um, <laughs> yeah, little people, little people. But <laughs> like even the ones that they make for that are good. I can dig so, it. Highly That's recommend pretty it. Cool. That's pretty cool. Highly. So the the dude who owns it um, literally designs every room himself. And then he has his staff play through it to see the difficulty to, you know, try to recommend. Because they'll have rooms for, like, beginners. And they'll have rooms for experts and intermediate. Um, they have big rooms designed for 20 people or more. What? Yep. And then they have small rooms. We did one where it was literally a room that was smaller than this one that I'm in. Uh, it's probably about half the size of your living room, Greg. And it's made for four people. It was an Edgar Allan Poe room. Oh, and, that's um, awesome. Like, I can tell you this because they don't have it mm -hmm. out anymore, but there was a soundtrack playing the entire time you're in the room that's a heartbeat. And you don't pay attention to it because it's a heartbeat. But one of the codes throughout the entirety of it was Morse code. And you're like, I don't know Morse code. What in the world? 
and then you start listening and you listen to the soundtrack and the heartbeat is beating out in Morse code. What? And then you found the the clues that'll tell you what the different numbers and letters in Morse code meant and it gave you a key to the, the code and you could go and open the box. But it it makes you think and it's it's amazing. I love that's those cool. people. They're that's cool. Fantastic. You said that's in Richmond? That's in Richmond. Okay. Sounds like the Richmonds need to go to Richmond. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. So, boys, I got to sit down in a chair yesterday, and I got my first round of the vaccine. Good for you. Yep. Awesome. Yep. It, uh, it hurt like the dickens because I think she pinched me to do it. Yeah. Soft and blow. That was a real jerk move because it hurt. <laughs> and then the dummy me she said so which arm do you want it in i said oh my left one because that was the one she was closest to no uh i'm left-handed <laughs> that was stupid uh, which and, which ahead. one'd you get which one'd you uh, get i got the moderna yep yep got the moderna so i get to go back in another month or well mm -hmm. a month minus a day now 28 and, uh, days Yep, and get my get my follow up, but yeah, that was uh, that was a blessing, and I'm feeling pretty good. I woke up this morning with a pretty gnarly headache, uh, and it didn't officially go away until about two o'clock today after two rounds of ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. But uh, but no, I'm I'm feeling better. I'm feeling good. I I don't have the effects that you did, Greg. So I'm grateful for that. Sorry again, <laughs> you had to go through that. Uh, the 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 rash was the part that scared me half to death. Yeah, you said yeah, you said you got that yesterday. Yeah, you should be you should be feeling pretty pretty much back to normal by tomorrow. Am I That's, in the clear then? Pretty much. Yeah the the day of and the next day were the worst. The first roughly the first forty eight hours post shot were the worst for me, and then by that by that third you know, third day from getting the shot, uh -huh. I was, I was feeling normal again. Okay. Good deal. Alex, have you had yours yet? I have not. Not yet. They keep telling us they're going to roll it out. We're going to get mm -hmm. it. We're going to have it. Nope. Right. 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 Well, both, both Carrie and I got it and yeah, uh, she's got a little bit of a headache too, but she's doing pretty good too. So it's been nice. Oh, and I got to go fishing today, boys. Mm. Yep, I got to go fishing. Uh, I got to actually be on a kayak today, which was phenomenal. Uh, and I caught one. So my first fish of the year was today, March the 13th. I. It, it is what it is. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Carrie and Julia went out with me. Uh, Philip stayed here at the house. Uh, but yeah, it it was a good day today. So can't uh, can't beat some time on the water, right? Can't beat it. Not with a stick. Oh. Well, you probably could beat the fish with a stick, but I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't. Have, <laughs> no. Good, <laughs> bad fish. <laughs> That's all I could. I, mean, I can only imagine you're like standing there at the water with a paddle. <laughs> 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 So funny thing, uh, we, I was in conservatory as a delegate at Camp Grandview in Georgia, summer of 96, summer of 96, because uh, <laughs> that was also the year of the Olympics. And mm -hmm. long story short, long, so much longer than we can have right now. Uh, I got kicked out of that conservatory. <laughs> I remember the story. Uh huh. Uh, mom and dad were in Augusta. They were doing their summer assignment. Dad had to come pick me up, uh, and take me home. And that was the longest ride of my life because I knew I blew it. Anyways, uh, we're we're out on the the water, uh, that lake that's down there at Camp Grandview, and we're in these these canoes, and. I'm paddling and I'm talking to the guy in front of me and I'm paddling 
and I don't realize what happened or I don't remember what happened. But for some reason, when we got back to the dock, I didn't have a paddle. <laughs> like it just. It left my hands. <laughs> so I have no idea. Another thing, uh, yeah, guys, did you ever get those big uh, wooden paddles for like a, a canoe or whatnot and then slap them on the water just to yeah, hear the sound that they of make? Of course, all the time. Well, we were doing that at Paradise. And you know, if you hit those hard enough on the water, they split. Yep. <laughs> I did not know that. Yep, they split. That's that's really funny. Yeah, so it makes a, a pretty wicked crack on the water, and then it actually cracks. So, yeah, those are my two camp stories for tonight. Fitting that I'm wearing a camp tomahawk hat over here on uh, my side what of the you, channel tonight. So. What did you get kicked out of camp for? <clears throat> Long um, story. <clears throat> yeah, so... uh Long story. Uh, to to keep it family friendly, um, I was dating somebody at the time. Mm. Say and, no more, fam. Uh, yeah. Um. There was a lot. There was a lot of us that got kicked out that year. Um, for the same reason. And so, and and a Very lot of well us are then. officers now. This. So, <laughs> Please, please. Oh, God. Please don't allow that to shine any kind of light or wrong kind of light. But uh, mm. but again, uh, 96, summer 96. So I was just 14. 14. Yeah, I was, I was just 14. So I remember that summer yeah. because we were living. So when we were living in Augusta, we were, I remember that summer assignment. We were staying in a. It was a townhome. It was, it was a furnished. It, it was a furnished townhome. Could it had a pool? It had a pool because it had for us. It had a yeah. really nice pool, and we used to go swimming in that thing. I think every single day. Yep. Yep. Ah, yep. Good times, and I remember watching a lot of wacky racers. Yes. On Cartoon Network. <laughs> i love that show oh yeah. uh, wacky racers so i sent you guys some pictures before we started um yeah, i had, I I had fun today yeah so i am a member well i haven't paid my dues yet which i'll do this week but i have joined uh the home brewers association here in fredericksburg awesome and That's today amazing. yep I don't own any brewing equipment whatsoever. I've never, well, now I can say I have helped brew a batch of beer. Um, so, yeah, so I went to uh, one of the the members' homes today. They went over there this morning about 10 o'clock. And uh, it was about a five-hour process. Um, wow. We made a, a <clears throat> German lager. We made a... a Jawohl! A, a, yeah, Jawohl! We made a Munich Hells. It's the style of beer. That sounds awful. Um, it, they taste amazing. Oh, but man. it was uh, it's, it's it was a it was about a five hour process from start to finish. Like, it was absolutely fascinating. It was very very like. There's some pretty cool equipment that you use in brewing uh, when you're trying to like things that I've seen. Um, you know, like when you go to a, some places, yeah. when you go to, yeah, the, that, that's some pretty cool equipment pretty right cool, there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that right there, gentlemen, is the, <laughs> is the high speed, low drag mash ton of, uh, uh of brewing. Ladies but, and gentlemen, um, for those who are not able to watch this, it's a five gallon Lowe's, uh, drink dispenser. <laughs> that looks like a turkey fryer. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. It is a turkey fryer. Uh, uh homebrew. Yeah. But but no, like some of the uh some and of the equipment. Bottle. Yep. <laughs> but but some of the equipment, those you know, uh the hydrometer. Um so he had both a a glass hydrometer, which is the one that you drop into a 
into a, essentially a test tube. And then he also, it. well, setting into, thank yeah. you there, Boyo. Um, but also had a, a refractive hydrometer, which was really stinking cool. You literally put uh, a drop of your your wort on top of it. Oh, oh. I'm good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was good. I liked it. But no, you you put your you put your drop of water or wort on this thing, wort. and then you stick it outside. You put it in the sun, and you look. It's essentially like a microscope, and it can show you what your current, uh, the gravity is of you know your your gravity of your your wort is. And I have one of those. Do you know? Yeah, I use it to check the specific gravity of the salt water in the tank. That makes sense. Huh. You can buy them for 10 bucks on Amazon. Don't drink them. You don't drink them. No, don't drink them. No. But, but, anyway, but it was... <laughs> <laughs> Reset. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Huh? Bloop, bloop. What do you Click. But it was honestly, it was, it was, uh, it was definitely a cool learning experience. Um... You know, we he did an all grain brew. I learned a lot. I had a heck of a good time. It was a lot of fun. I tasted. So he was pulling out. It was, it, you know, he was hosting. He was the brewer, and then uh, one of the other guys from the club was there, and then it was me. Um, and he was pulling out stuff out of his fridge, like you know, stuff that he had made a few. Like we, Patrick, we we were trying stuff. I did not realize that you could keep beer that long. It was it was absolutely incredible. Yeah, some I of the beers beer goes skunky or something. It does, depending on how it's uh, how it's done. He had uh, he had one um, that he had made over five years ago. What? And it tasted so good. I've got a bottle of it in my fridge. Because <laughs> he sent me home with some. Oh uh, my goodness. And uh, it was honestly, it was it was pretty, pretty neat. I definitely learned a lot. I had a really good time. Um, it is, I've always had an interest in it, but to actually get a chance to, you know, try my hand at it was was pretty pretty cool. So that's nuts. A five year old beer though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> wow. Glad you had a good time though, bud. That's awesome. I told you we needed to do that. Yeah, I know. And we probably are gonna end up getting into it. Yeah, man. It's 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 part science, it's part art, it's uh I have a science degree. Yeah, you do. Science! Um, science! It's pretty, pretty stinking Weird cool. Science. Yeah, we're, we're going to use glass carboys, though. I, I, don't, I don't like that plastic bottle stuff. You don't like the, the Lowe's the drink dispenser? Nope. That wasn't, that wasn't what he... That, that wasn't the fermenter. That was his mash tun. And the reason why it's a, it's a Lowe's you know you, you laugh it's it's lows so you heat your water to a specific temperature and you want to maintain that temperature range for as long as possible as you're uh as you're mashing your 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 barley because you want to extract as much sugar out of it as humanly possible um or, or not even as much sugar as you need possible. You want it to be as efficient as possible because you're trying to get a certain amount of efficiency to get the most uh, sugar that, you know, it's it's a lot easier if you have, if you're more efficient when you get more sugar out of it, so. All right. You kept saying it was, sugar and I kept thinking, oh, sugar, dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey. Honey, honey. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Well, I was thinking watermelon sugar high. Watermelon I was thinking, sugar high. <laughs> high. <laughs> oh, yep. Thanks, that's a, that's a TikTok and it makes me laugh to no end. So, but yeah, it was uh it was definitely it was really cool. Um I I tried a bunch of of new beers, tried things I'd never had. 
or more specifically, you know, homemade stuff. And wow, it was pretty stinking cool. It's definitely fun. But well, good for you, man. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Alex, you this one? anything fun this week? <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, that's right. Please share. Please share. He's got, he's got Sh snails. Got snails. Sh share. So, as you guys know, my birthday was this week. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy again. birthday. And uh, it was also mom's this week. Hey, did yes, you get my message, was. by the way? I did. Okay, cool. Just checking. Sorry. It's all good. I'm terrible at responding to text messages. Don't be. You're fine. Happy birthday, Side mom. Eight. Happy birthday. Side mom. Eight. So, um, with that, we did a couple of things this week. Um, first and foremost, you guys know we got Jeffrey. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I talked to you guys about him on Sunday because we got him on Saturday. So, Jeffrey's back there floating around. I uh, just got done feeding him, so his belly's about that big. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he, like, he gets a beer belly, essentially, after you get done feeding him. <laughs> but um, I got him fed. Uh, and then Hagrid was over there in the, uh, the quarantine tank. He is now downstairs in the big tank um, with the rest of the goldfish, being fat and happy. Uh, he's a big man on campus, and, you know, who wouldn't be happy about that? Is he as aggressive as you thought he'd be? Uh, no, no, but he's very clumsy. So there's stuff that he can actually end up hurting himself on down there, like scratching himself. Um, so he's got a, a couple of dings from running into the side of the pirate ship. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Arr, ow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So based on Poor that, fish. you know, um, I'm going to keep my eye on him and make sure he might have to go somewhere that's softer. I don't know. But uh, a buddy of mine actually is kind of getting out of the fish hobby. Um, I've told you guys about the Newport News Aquarium. That's his garage. Yep. Uh, so he, Liz talked to him yesterday because we needed to get our lawnmower back. And uh, he was like, yeah, you guys come over. And, you know, actually I'm, I'm selling most of my fish stuff. So if you guys want to crack it, you know, like first couple of things, come on over and, and, and take a look. See what you guys want. So I was like, yeah, okay, sure. So we went over there. We, we started walking through the garage and... Checking to see what we could find. Yeah. Uh, I picked up uh, a tank, which is this one next to me. Uh, and the main reason I picked it up is it's got plants in it already. Uh, the filter is already cycled. And it's got snails. And <laughs> you guys know that I've been waiting to put snails in that tank so they could, you know, breed. I could get more snails that I could feed them to Jeffrey. Did you know that snails have tongues? Uh, these don't. They are way too small. Oh. They're, they're not the big mystery snails. They're the, the really <laughs> tiny ones. Oh. So, I've got a bunch of them, though, all hanging out in there. There's probably about 100 snails in there. And uh, I got that and then another 10-gallon. I got a little tiny one. Um, and I'm going to start working on that and putting that together. But I'm going to end up putting a couple more fish in here. Uh, little tiny guys, little mollies, or um, guppies, as they call them. And just keep working through that. But this is... That's pretty much been what I've been doing this week, you know? I only had to work one day this week because I got off the of leave yesterday. Nice. And, uh, yeah. It's nice. It's good. What's his, what's his reasoning, Boyo? Did he tell you? Why is he getting out of the, you know... That man has, I don't even want to guess how much money invested in fish. Uh-huh. He bought a Jeep. <laughs> bought a Jeep. He he bought like a, a late 70s, early 80s Jeep. Um, it's an old four-cylinder. It, it has good bones. It has good everything. Um, it has no inside like it barely has a floor it doesn't have any seats um it's manual transmission and the guy that he bought it from was fixing it 
but he doesn't have room to put it anywhere. Because on average, there's probably like four or five cars in the driveway at his house. Mm -hmm. So he wants to move that in and uh, get that in and situated and actually start working on it. There's no room to do that if the entire garage is filled up with fish. So he took the one fish that he wants, his puffer, upstairs. Uh, and there's a, a couple other small fish in there with him. And uh, he's getting rid of everything else. Everything else has got to go. Wow. Yeah. He put a lot of... and I, I, That blows my mind. He put a lot of work into that garage space. He, yeah. He also... He's made a lot of money off of those fish, too. So... Because he's he's sold babies, he's sold plants, he's sold tanks, he's bought tanks. Like he's 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 gonna come out ahead on this. There there's no question or doubt about it. Yeah, but it's not like you know he sells all of it if he wants to get back into the game. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. He's a good. Good dude. for him. Yeah, he is. I'm I'm digging the fact that you basically got a snail tank complete in box mm -hmm. <laughs> already had the snails in it yep. just had to bring it home just had to bring it home and get it upstairs that was the hard part oh i could imagine because it was full water wasn't it uh no so if you're gonna cycle a new tank right you normally it'd be empty and you just deal with that right but because this is was an existing tank we drained most of the water out until it was like just above the substrate so like right here or so. Mm -hmm. And then you leave the filter that's in it in there so that it stays wet so you don't have to recycle it. And then just fill it back up with water. Treat the new water and uh, you're good to go. <clears throat> that's cool. Yeah, man. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's been my week. It's been nice. Anything so, else cool happen with you, PT? No, not really. I've, <laughs> I'll be just cruising right along, getting work done. and Yeah, good times like that. So good conversations throughout the week, that's for sure. Mm. So we, uh, uh, yeah, we've had some good conversations this week. Been busy though, busy with work, busy getting things straight. Um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I'll yeah. I'll share that one afterwards. So very well then. Yeah, yeah. I had to think about it for just a second, and I had to put the carry filter on and realized, yeah, it was probably too much. So. Yay! Fair enough. Yay. So, but it's good, man. It's real good. Good week. Good. Uh, good work. Uh, looking forward to Sunday tomorrow. Um. Did Did you guys ever hear the DYS who said, "If it ain't in the light, it ain't right, and the light at the boat dock don't count." Yes. All right. That's that's what my sermon is based on tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's gonna be an interest uh, well it's gonna be it's gonna be a couple folks sitting there gonna be going shifting side to side uh, what, what are you talking about major what are you talking about well let me tell you what i'm talking about so mm. yeah it'd be good it'd be oh, good yeah. so well, well gee i heard i heard you got the question for the week i, was I do about to say that we're going to keep it we're going to keep it short and sweet but short and uh, sweet i'm interested to hear what your guys's answers are 42 uh, you know it's candy. funny because it is actually number 42 on this questionnaire oh um, yeah <laughs> oh that's that's actually kind of awesome alex that you said that um uh, all right so Patrick, you and I are obviously thinking about running, or we're, we are set goal yes. to run a, marath a marathon, I don't marathon next, 
We're running yes. a marathon next year. Yes. Um, Alex, you don't run. I don't run. Right. Um, part of my week this week. So I have been focusing on getting back into working out on a regular basis, going to the gym multiple days a week, you know, really actually trying to focus on uh, getting in shape again because uh, I'm not in good shape. So with that, I wanted to ask you guys, what is y'all's favorite way to exercise? So like, what is like when you're like, man, I, I want to go work out. I want to do, you know, you know, do something to, you know, some sort of PT. Uh, and Alex, I know you do PT on occasion. The, for those of you who don't know, that stands for physical training. He's shaking uh, his head like, no, I don't. <laughs> what, what, what? If you were, if you do actually exercise, I love uh, you. what's your, what's your idea of, uh, of good exercise or like uh, your favorite way to exercise? <laughs> All right. So my favorite right now, as of this moment to raise the heart rate, uh, is playing a simple game called pickleball. Um, really? Yes. I like pickleball. It is. Uh, it can be challenging if you want it to. It can also be the easiest thing you've ever played on two feet. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there's a group that plays at the Y. Uh, we have at our building, we have an actual court that's in the gym with net and all that jazz. And uh, I'd, yeah, again, it can be as easy as you want to play it or you can make it as difficult as you want to with the other people. So yeah, I like to raise my heart rate with pickleball right now. That's awesome. That was uh crazy popular when I was uh I didn't play unfortunately at the time, but when I was in Utica, um the park that we used to go and, oh, and yeah. work out at. Yeah. Uh they had pickleball courts. Yep. And they had when I say pickleball courts, I'm pickleball courts in plural. It was a fenced in area and it had at least six courts yep. in this section where you could go in, you could play. And it was during the warm, warm months, which, you know, the three months out of the year when it's actually right. warm in New York, <laughs> um, they were packed with people playing pickleball. I believe it. Yeah. That our city here in Parkersburg has tournaments because awesome. there are so many people that play. So yeah, it's, it's good stuff. What about you, Boyo? So any day that I'm off work is a rest day. Mm hmm Because when I'm at work, um, according to my watch, I probably walk roughly about seven or eight miles a day. Gee whiz. It is two miles from where I park at the, the end of the lot, all the way back in the back, because there's always parking there. Um, it's two miles to walk from there to the boat. And then whenever I'm on the boat, I literally do not stop moving. I am constantly going somewhere. Mm. If I have the opportunity, you know, I'll sit down for a few minutes to work on some paperwork. But otherwise, I'm going up and down stairs. I'm running from one end of the boat to the other trying to do something. And then at the end of the day, when I finally get to go home, there's again no buses. So I walk from the boat all the way back out to my car. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that raises my heart rate anymore because I am so stinking used to it. Um, but I used to make it a goal to do 100 flights of stairs a day. Gee whiz. Because I would get close enough to it. I'd hit like 80 or you know 90, somewhere around there. So I'd do a couple extra flights just to make sure that I hit it. So I don't really worry about it. But normally... Um, if I have the opportunity, I'd like to go ride my bike. Nice. You know, something that's leisurely a little bit, and that's honestly my PFA every year, is I get on the bike and ride the bike for 12 minutes, because I don't run. What's a PFA? Personal fitness? Uh, physical, physical fitness assess assessment. Physical assessment. fitness, physical fitness assessment. Assess yeah. Some assessment. people call it a PRT. Some people call assessment. it a PSA. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Navy for a guy that's you know as old as Greg and I, we have a long time to run a mile and a half. Uh, I am anything 
uh, if I'm not efficient. So instead of you know taking the 15 and a half minutes that I have to run a mile and a half, I'm going to jump on a bike for 12 and burn calories. Okay. Works. Works. What do you say, Greg? So I have two. Uh-oh. Um, yeah. Well, just like I, it's my two favorite ways to exercise. Uh, first one, Patrick, I laugh that you say you like pickleball. My, my guilty pleasure is racquetball. Oh, <laughs> that ball flies. I know. I love racquetball. It is so stinking fun. Okay. Um, talk about getting your heart rate up. It's fast. Uh, it's just, it's just constant running back and forth and back and forth. And, um, because you're in an enclosed space, there's just, there's nothing like it. Um, right. and then, and then the second one that, uh, is my, like, I need to actually go and quote unquote, like, you know, do a cardio workout. Um, have you guys ever used a rowing machine? Yes. No, that's actually one of the new things they're adding to the PRT this year for the Navy. So you can row. Rowing, rowing is my, uh, I, I can get on a rowing machine, put in my headphones and I'll row a 5k in a heartbeat. Wow. Um, uh, I, 20, 22, 23 minutes from start to finish to go 5k. Um, it is a whole body workout. You work your core, you work your arms, your back, your legs. Um, it is, it's the whole nine. And so it's, it's quick, it's very efficient. And then the last one, and the other reason why I like it is gentlemen, we are getting old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. We are getting old. My knee hurts. Uh, I will, I will run. I have no problem with running, run. but if, but if I have to make a choice between that and doing something like a rowing machine, I will row in a heartbeat because as much as I enjoy getting out and, and seeing stuff on the, you know, on pavement or out in the woods, um, running tears up my joints hmm. and I am, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing very quickly that I can, I'm feeling that. Uh, so, so if I can get on a rowing machine instead, get the same amount of exercise um, without going out and uh, beating myself up, uh, I'll do that a heartbeat. So does that not pull on your knees though? No, no, because, because you're sitting, you know, you're sitting in a, in, on a seat that slides back and forth. Um, I don't feel any of the uh, the pain or the 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 soreness that I get from from running. Okay. At all. Um, watch a video if, if you're interested in trying rowing. Yeah, they've um, got a few machines at the Y. Uh, are they the water ones or are they? It's a good question. So there's there's, there's three. I think they've got a drum at the end of it. So is yeah. that a water one. Well, you'll you'll see a, you'll know a water one when you see it. It has a, it literally looks like a, if, um, what are those called? Like a rainbow vacuum. It kind of looks like a rainbow vacuum on the end because it's like a big. It's got the drum. bifrost. <laughs> I just watched that the other day. Uh -huh. Meow meow. What's meow meow? Meow meow. <laughs> but no um so you've got the water ones there is a uh um i think it's like magnetic is or some sort of hydraulic mm -hmm. one and then the most common one the one that's actually used in crossfit is uh the it's it's air it's got a big fan in the front hmm. um c2 a concept 2 rower is the most common um Every, like crossfitters love those but 
those are the ones I like because it's the one I've used the most. I don't like the water one just because I don't like they to me it pulls different. Uh, but again, that's just personal preference. I like okay. I like the air ones, but try it out. It's yeah. uh watch watch a video just to get an understanding of of the motion because yeah, you know, you want to make sure you're you're keeping your back straight, you're you're using your legs properly and before you switch to your arms and you know everything else, but um if you want a good 25 30 minute workout go row and you'd be amazed go row gi joe and knowing's half the battle knowing is half the battle sweet good question man good question here comes the cat na 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 stand by so bilbo baggins wakes up suddenly to don't stop believing <laughs> okay. It was an unexpected journey. <laughs> I hated my new haircut. But then it grew mm -hmm. on you? But then it grew on me. <laughs> Orion's so, belt is a big waste of space. Okay. <laughs> that's the joke <laughs> oh god oh he says okay <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, you got Liz nice <laughs> oh. delay. why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure I don't know. He was a little shellfish. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I hate spelling errors. Really? Yeah. You mix up two letters and your whole one-liner is urine. <laughs> <laughs> so if athletes get athlete's foot, what do elves get? Shoe, shoe fungus? Mm -mm. What do elves get? Yeah, what do elves get? Like the Keebler elves? Mm. Or like <laughs> legless legolas? No. <laughs> or legless like, lego legolas? Or the like, shoe cobbler elves? Like what are we talking yeah, about here? Santa's elves. Reindeer's foot? Mm -mm. Mistletoes. Uh, <laughs> you know, my wife, my wife accused me of hating her family. Did she? Yeah, I told her your mother-in-law is way better than mine. <laughs> what lights up a soccer stadium? Fans. I don't know. A yeah. soccer match. Uh, uh, all right, we got time for one more good one. What do we got? <laughs> what do you call a pig that does karate? Pork chop. A pork chop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, you got another one, Patrick? Oh, uh, I'm looking. They're all rough. Mm. That's what my dog says. Insomnia is terrible. But on the plus side, only three more sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this... This has been another episode of Brothers in Arms podcast. We want to thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, we are cutting it a little uh, early because, well, <laughs> we're losing an hour of sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, but guess what? You're not paying for this, so you can't sue us. No, not really. So, uh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> meh. Meh. But, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We really do appreciate you. Uh, my name is Patrick. That guy over there in the green, that's Greg. 
All right. And, and the one with snails, that's, that's our one and only Alex. Oh, he's Batman, excuse me. You are Batman. Thank you. I'm Batman. So, oh, Batman. fellas, any parting remarks before we close? Oh, yeah. As always, drink water, change your socks, and uh, take Motrin. And Especially. last but not least, life's too short to drink bad beer. Okay. Definitely take your Motrin after you've had your COVID shot. Boy, you're going to need it. Amen. Whew. Alex? I got a bird. You do. Bird, bird, bird. <laughs> bird is a word. Da, 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 bird. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> that's the mash. <laughs> he does oh, the monster right. mash. The what? monster mash. No, 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 no. Was it a graveyard smash, though? Oh, was it? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. And ladies, I'll, I'll close with this. Just for the Even, ladies. Wow, not just for the ladies. For all, mm-hmm. all, all the boys and girls. Um, that was weird. Sorry. What, what? My brain. It went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have a feeling. It, it farted. Sorry. Um, even when you're not feeling it, try your best to do it. Hmm. Even when you're not feeling it, try your best because you just might find a blessing in it. So thanks, everybody, for a fantastic show. Guys, you guys are amazing. Thanks for hanging out. It's been always sharing your lives, sharing all that's going on. Love seeing your dogs digging out there behind you. That's pretty cool. He's a burrito now. He is a burrito. It's a a weenie burrito. Weenie burrito. Weenie burrito. So love you guys. Love Love you you too, too, bro. Love you very much. We'll talk soon. As always, folks, y'all take care, and we will talk at you next week. Thanks again. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.